The Greatest Story Ever Told is the series finale of the animated television series Aqua Teen Hunger Force branded under the alternative title, Aqua Teen Hunger Force Forever. It is the ninth episode of the 11th season and the 139th episode of the series overall. In the episode Frylock and Carl become immortal after using special, ceaseless, shampoo, while Master Shake and Meatwad seek immortality through religion. Series creators were not made aware of the cancellation of the series until halfway through the final season, regardless, they were still able to make a finale that they felt does justice to the show. The episode immediately preceding this one, the last one forever and ever, for real this time, we fucking mean it, was falsely promoted as the series finale and aired on August 23, 2015. The Greatest Story Ever Told was then quietly released online on August 26, 2015 as a hidden Easter egg on the Adult Swim website. It later made its television debut in the United States on Cartoon Network's late-night programming block Adult Swim on August 30, 2015, with very little promotion and was listed as a rerun of Rabbit on most television listings. This episode has received positive reception and its television debut was the second highest rated episode from the season. This episode has been made available for digital purchase. Topic. Plot Master Shake and Meatwad are watching a video of Shake photobombsing clams from the previous weekend on television. Shake turns off the television and announces that he is, in fact, immortal. He then proceeds to pull out a book called The Bible, which he refers to as the Bible. Shake becomes angered when Meatwad corrects him on his error and demands he kneel down and pray to the Almighty Jimmy as part of his religion. Frylock enters the room and questions Shake's religion, which promises immortality. Shake states that Frylock isn't eligible for his religion or immortality, before leaving the house with Meatwad. Frylock denounces immortality, before cutting to him washing his fries in Carl's pool with a bottle of ceaseless shampoo. While Frylock is in the pool Carl comes to question him. Carl picks up the shampoo bottle and reads the label explaining that it gives the user immortality. Carl steals the bottle from Frylock and washes his own hair in his house against Frylock's wishes. Soon after Christopher Lambert abruptly enters Carl's house and explains that Frylock, Carl, and himself are all immortal. To prove this Lambert allows Carl to decapitate him on video. After Lambert successfully comes back to life after decapitation the three of them decide to make a viral internet video of themselves repeatedly committing suicide in different ways. Meanwhile, Shake and Meatwad are seen in a church alongside eleven other characters from the series, in an homage to The Last Supper. Shake is dressed up as Jesus Christ and is severing his organs and blood for consumption. Frylock, Carl, and Lambert have entered the church and show their video to Meatwad, explaining to him that it is real. Shake in a paranoid state commands everyone in the church to shoot at Frylock, Carl and Lambert. Everyone in the church complies but are not successful due to the fact that the three of them are immortal. Two policemen enter the church and begin shooting several patrons to death, including Shake. After the shooting Frylock and Carl take Lambert to see a magic show by Unbelievable Ron, to help alleviate his boredom, which he had been expressing throughout the episode. During Ron's performance he accidentally kills his assistant by cutting her in half. Ron uses his powers to turn witnesses in the audience into birds, including Lambert. During the commotion the two police officers return and arrest Frylock and Carl for the murder of Lambert. Thirty-five years in the future Meatwad is visiting Frylock in prison. Frylock explains that Meatwad needs to track down Lambert in the form of five white birds to get him and Carl exonerated. 
Meatwad responds by pulling out a bucket of fried chicken, which annoys Frylock. As the on-screen closing credits start, Frylock explains that Meatwad can use the remaining shampoo to become immortal himself. Meatwad asks if they would be on TV forever and Frylock confidently answers yes, before the screen abruptly cuts to the Williams Street production card. The fourth wall is broken in the post-credits scene where the Aqua Teens are seen in their living room with Carl watching the episode itself on television. Shake, Carl and Frylock each express disappointment in the episode. Meatwad optimistically suggests doing another joke in the show's final seconds, before the screen abruptly cuts to a message stating the episode was made in Georgia which was used throughout the 11th season and regularly in other productions made in Georgia, ending the series. Topic. Production The Greatest Story Ever Told was written and directed by series creators Dave Willis and Matt Maialero who wrote and directed every episode of the series. This is the final episode of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It features a guest appearance from Lavelle Crawford, who reprised his role of Unbelievable Ron, from the season 10 episode, Merlot Sauvignon Blanco. This episode also features the song, F off, which Maialero had originally written and performed for his other Adult Swim series 12 Ounces. Mouse, in 2015, the series was cancelled by Adult Swim after 15 years, against the wishes of Willis and Maialero, who would have preferred to have the series continue. Willis and Maialero were first told about the cancellation by people from the animation studio. By the time they were told about the cancellation they were already done producing about half of the episodes from the final season. Regardless of the timing of the news Wills stated they were still able to produce this finale, that Willis says, does justice to the series, and is, worthy of the show. In 2017, Adult Swim was asked why don't they make more episodes, to which they responded, we might. With a bump, Willis also expressed interest in doing a Kickstarter to fund Death Fighter, a scrapped sequel to Aqua Teen Hunger Force colon movie film for theaters. This is the final project C. Martin Croker worked on for Adult Swim before his death on September 17, 2016. Croker had worked on multiple shows and projects for Cartoon Network and Adult Swim, dating back to the launch of Cartoon Network in the early 1990s. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Broadcast history. The previous episode, The Last One Forever and Ever, for real this time, we fucking mean it was falsely promoted as the series finale and originally aired on August 23, 2015 as scheduled. Willis and Maialero have referred to the last one forever and ever for real this time, we fucking mean it, as the series finale in various press statements and interviews. The episode also features a double-length run time and a tone common in television series finales. The Greatest Story Ever Told was quietly released as a hidden Easter egg on the Adult Swim website on August 26, 2015, three days after the premiere of The Last One Forever and Ever For Real This Time, We Fucking Mean It. Adult Swim made the link to the episode on their website as a fake ad for career opportunities, on Facebook as a fake ad for eggs, and on Twitter as an ad for special goggles. The episode was exclusively sponsored by the video game Destiny, The Taken King. The Greatest Story Ever Told first aired on television in the United States on Cartoon Network's late-night programming block Adult Swim on August 30, 2015. The television airing had virtually no promotion, with the exception of a trailer for Destiny, The Taken King mentioning an upcoming secret. Episode of Aqua Teen. 
The original television airing of this episode was falsely listed as a rerun of the pilot episode, Rabbit, on most television listings. This episode has since been properly listed on television listings in subsequent airings after the night it originally aired. Topic: Reception. In its original American television broadcast on August 30, 2015, The Greatest Story Ever Told was watched by 1.237 million viewers. On cable it was ranked number one in its time slot. It was the second highest rated episode of the season behind The Last One Forever and Ever For Real This Time, We Fucking Mean It, which was watched by 1.590 million viewers in its original debut. Kevin Johnson of the AV Club said that the episode was fairly funny and was disappointed that Master Shake died in the shootout. He also stated that it would be pretty great if the series were to continue as an online series of random events. <laughs> <laughs> Home release This episode, along with the rest of the 11th season, is available in HD and SD for digital purchase on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon Video, and Microsoft. <laughs>